Hello everyone, welcome to another Sign Orange review. Once again, we have another course from Wingfox in our hands. And we were personally very excited for this course, as the teacher is one of our favorite artists, Galliera, whose real name is Park Jun Q, an amazing Korean artist who has recently worked for games such as Cyberpunk 2077 and Resident Evil. His work is fascinated with high influences of Asian culture mixed with cyberpunk elements, Galliera is definitely an artist you should check out if you haven't already. The course is titled Cyberpunk Art and Drawing Course, so we can expect that mostly this course will cover drawing and designing techniques, not so much painting and rendering skills as the previous courses we reviewed. Once again, for those who are wondering which software Galliera uses in his course, the answer is Photoshop. So keep in mind that you will learn even more if you are also a Photoshop user. Let's first take a look at what materials and downloadables we will have access to when we purchase this course. First of all, keep in mind that currently our review is made when the course is still being updated. That means we don't have access to the entire course. You can also download the project files that come with the course. Let's take a closer look at those. The project files downloadable that is included in the course contains four PSD files respectively named. The course only seemed to use one of the PSD files, so it's a nice bonus to have the other three. Each PSD file includes all the layers and even though not all layers and name, the PSD files are well organized. Some have name folders and even key layers such as line art, given the proper name. There are no brushes file, which honestly comes as no surprise to us, as Galliere's artwork is heavily focused on line art and flat colors. Most of his work is done with just a simple round brush, so as we said, we kind of expected this. Moving on, let's check out the course content. The course has five chapters in total, covering different topics and featuring a single illustration that is included in the downloadables of the course. Galliera speaks throughout the course in Korean. However, English and Chinese subtitles are available. Let us give you a brief summary of each chapter. Chapter 1, Things to Prepare Before the R Word Starts As the name implies, the first chapter of the course is an introduction chapter. Here, Galliera talks about his choices in tablet, computer, software, and so. He also gives us some warm-up daily exercises that will be quite useful to beginners who wish to improve their line art quality. Keep in mind that Galliera is an artist that has trained heavily in his line art skills, so this course is ideal for those who wish to explore their artwork in this direction. Chapter 2. The First Step in Character Art in this chapter, the drawing process begins. First, Galliera shows us his mindset when she approaches art. Take your time and prepare well. That starts with his references. He explained in some of the video lessons of this chapter how real-life references are so important in his creation process. He then moves on briefly into some of the fundamental skills any artist should know as the human figure, the golden ratio of the body, and how to practice poses from photos. He comments throughout the lessons very useful tips about drawing and in general about what he is thinking as he's coming up with the designing ideas. This chapter he talks about the skeleton and the very simple form of the human structure, taking into account important elements such as gesture, personality, and so. This is a very basic chapter meant mostly for beginners. Chapter 3 The Beginning and End of Drawing a Character in Chapter 3, Galliera focuses on detailing the face, the hair, and the clothes of the character he is designing. He gives out very helpful tips throughout his demo process and explains briefly how to solve efficiently the concept of hair, and how he applies real-life concepts of clothing into his creation. In this chapter, he has more extensive demos of his liner refining process and detailing. Once again, those who want to master their liner will really appreciate this course. Moving on, in Chapter 4, as the name implies, Galliera will show us his method on how he designs the various cyberpunk elements in his character illustration. 
First, he begins teaching us the various parts of weapons, such as a gun or a rifle, how to simplify it, to later on design it in any way we desire. He shows us the complete demo on how he designs the rifle, spear kind of weapon for this character, and then moves on to the concept of machine, how he applies machine parts into his character. We really like this part in particular. He, in one of the chapters, stops for a moment his designing process and explains to the viewers the concept of structure, presenting machine design, and how this human structure strongly relates to it. He explains how joints present in human bone structure is the basis of any joint design in mechatypes. And last but not least, he shows us a demo on how he designs a cyberpunk mask for his character. All along, a great chapter for those interested in cyberpunk style and in general about the vision design methods. Chapter 5. Quick and easy way to coloring. Ok, first of all, let's begin stating that this chapter is currently updating, meaning is not complete at the moment. However, we will try to give the best summary we can of the current available lessons. Let's begin. In this chapter, Galliera shows us his coloring technique to fill large areas of color quickly using the bucket tool in Photoshop. Later on, he applies the basic color to his character design and finally adds shadows in the last available lesson. For what we could tell from the name of the episodes that are missing, he will then move on into details such as the call drawing and layout composition. So as usual, for those who don't want to watch the full video, we will summarize what we thought of the course in both pros and cons. So let's begin! The video and sound quality are fantastic. Keep in mind that Galliere speaks in Korean, so you most likely will rely on the subtitles to understand what he's saying. However, the sound quality was good, same for the quality of the video and the subtitles. It comes with four PSD files that are well organized with name layers. Galliera only uses one PSD file in the entire course, so it's a nice bonus to have the other three. No time limit to watch the course. Yep, you can take your time and watch this course, no time limits to access it. Perfect course for those interested in anime style or heavy line art based art. Yep, Galliera doesn't really talk in depth about foundation skills as color and lining, he doesn't really paint or really use much of the Photoshop brushes, so don't expect to learn much of those in this course. This course is also like a workshop. Galliera shows us his process in creating a female cyberpunk character step by step. Decent price for the course. Ok, so we do think this course doesn't have the great and nice price as the one of Livia, for example. You can currently get this course for $69, and once it's complete, its price will rise to the full cost, which is $129. Even so, with the full price, this course is worth every penny. Think of this course as a workshop. We have attended many workshops and this feels the same, but everything is recorded, which is way better than a live one in our honest opinion. It doesn't work on Opera browser. Yeah, we keep bringing this up, but seriously, every good online academy has to make sure the customer can enjoy its content on any platform or browser. Once again, we're waiting for WinFox to fix this issue. Thank you for joining us in another Sign Orange review. Now it's time to answer the one question. Do we recommend this course? Yes! This course was great. We are big fans of Galliere's artwork, so it was indeed a joy to review this course. Once again, we remind you guys this course is more like a workshop. You won't really learn a lot about the foundation skills such as human anatomy, perspective, or color theory, but you will take a closer look at the artist's creation process and watch him explain step by step his decisions in our making. We will leave the promo code and link in the description below. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome art content. Don't forget we also have a Patreon! You can support our studio there and receive exclusive content in return. That's it guys, 
We hope you enjoyed this video and see you all on the next episode. Bye bye!